former executive and one of the people in charge of WB and DC during Zack Snyder's reign as the head of it, just recently revealed in an interview that there was never talks or even a consideration to let Zack Snyder run the DC Universe and the DCEU. This was all the internet saying it was going to happen. So this comes at us from Diane Nelson, who we've talked about previously, actually multiple times in relation to DC. And of course, she was one of the people headlining the sort of ambitious plans that they had for the DCEU. And recently in an interview, she was asked about all of Zack Snyder's involvement with the bigger DCEU before obviously it took the direction that it took. And, uh, well, everything in regards to him being the Kevin Feige of the DCEU. And she said that there was no truth to this. She said that essentially he was just out there to announce everything because they saw the opportunity when they announced Batman v Superman to announce more of the slate. And that this is sort of, I guess, something that was mistaken by the internet in regards to their plans for Zack Snyder because they never intended to make him the Kevin Feige. He was only hired to work on the stuff that he was working on, and that was it. Beyond that, they were still talking to other directors and other people, and WB as a whole was going to be the Kevin Feige. I mean, this all checks out, because multiple times in the past, they said that the rumors weren't true, that there was never a plan. It was Zack Snyder that sort of insinuated that he was the Kevin Feige, that he was overseeing everything, that he was behind everything, but even when you look at Suicide Squad and Batman v Superman, we know that's not the case. There was very little communication between both sides and how things were playing out. So this does honestly um, seem very interesting and very accurate and honestly paints a light into just how disorganized everybody at WB was. Like they truly were and they didn't know what they were doing and had really no plans honestly let's think about it like that's kind of what she said previously so it makes sense that Zack Snyder was never going to be in charge of it because they weren't going to hand him over the keys to all the billions of dollars worth of characters and let him go loose when most of the universe was already falling apart 